Yay, it's Friday. <laughs> All right, so today we're gonna do the last part on our subtraction poem. Um, and let's go over to the board and check it out. Today we're gonna do more on the floor. So the floor, here's our floor, more on the floor. Go next door and get 10 more. So we have 43, take away 17. I'm gonna divide my tens and my ones. All right, so you can see there's more on the floor because seven is more than three, so we have to get 10 more. I'm gonna show you, let's see here. I'm gonna show you the place value one first. So let's go four tens. One, one, two, three, four tens, three ones. One, two, three. All right, so we know we can't take seven away because we don't have at least seven. So we gotta borrow 10 more. So I'm gonna grab this 10 and bring it over here. Now remember, you have three, so you need to put 10 more over here. You can't just make this 10. So 10 and three should be 13. When you're done, you should have 13. Two, four, six, eight, 10. Now I have 10 more. Now I can take seven away from this, can't I? So I'm gonna take away this seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that leaves me one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. All right, so I'm gonna draw a line through that so I know it's used. Now I need to take away one more. Remember, we don't have four anymore. Now we have three because we borrowed, we, we uh, sent that 10 over there. So I'm gonna take away one more, cross it out. So that still leaves me two tens. So I have 26. All right, so that's using the place value. If you need to use this, use it. It will help you um, um, borrow and carry and all that everything if you need to. Now the lesson shows you how to use the algorithm. So I'm going to do that real quick. Um, and remember, it's always good to check your work because to be honest with you, this is take two because I messed up the first time. All right, more on the floor, go next door and get 10 more. Now we already know that seven is more than three. So I'm gonna go, so they have us cross this out because we're borrowing from the four, which means we now have three tens left, not four tens anymore. And then we're gonna make this 13. So 13 take away seven is six, and then three or 30 take away 10 is 20, so we get 26, so that's the algorithm. I personally like the algorithm, that's my strength. I don't mind the base 10 either. Now I'm gonna show you the open number line, and the reason for the open number line is so that you don't have to do this borrowing. All right, so, or regrouping, I guess is what it's called now. We're gonna start at 43, all right? Now I'm gonna take away 17. We know when we take away 17, we go this way on the number line. We go down the number line, not up. I'm gonna take away 17. I know that 17 has one 10, so I'm gonna take away one 10. And 10 less than 43 is 33. Then I gotta make my minus 10 in there. Okay, now I need to take away my seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So these are all minus ones. Minus one, minus one. So now we're just gonna count back. So this would be 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26. And it's good to always do more than one way because I know I got 26 here and I have 26 there. And like I said, I did this wrong the first take. I should have just kept it on there for you guys and corrected it, my bad. All right, let's go over to our worksheet that's due today. All right, here's the worksheet due today. There is a backside, but we will do that Monday. So don't do the backside yet. Stay with me if you can. All right, so here's the one that we just did on the, on the, on the board over there. 43 take away 17 equals 26. This is the algorithm. So they had more on the floor, so they had to go grab 10 more. So they crossed out their four, left themselves three tens, and turned three into 13. So 13 take away seven is six, 30 take away 10 is 20. So that leaves us 26. All right, I'm gonna practice this one with you guys. See my whiteout? You can tell I messed, messed it all up. I am going to start this with um, base 10 blocks. So we're gonna make 52. One, two, three, four, five, and two ones, all right? Now we have more on the floor, so we know we're gonna go next door. I'm going to grab a 10, bring it over here. Remember, we have two, we need to add 10 more to that. So two, two and 10 more is 12. 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, see, 12, made it. All right, now I could take six from there. I couldn't take six from two. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That leaves us one, two, three, four, five, six. Because we know that six plus six equals 12, so 12 to away six is six. Factical family. All right, so six ones left. Now I'm gonna cross this guy out so I don't use it again. We're over here. We took, we don't have four, uh, five tens anymore. We only have four tens left. I need to take two more of those. So I'm gonna take that one and that one. So that leaves me two tens. We made 26 again. All right, I am going to show you the number line again. This is where I messed up. The number line is not my strength. Uh, that's because when I took away a 10, I took only away a one before. So, wow. I'm gonna write 52 here and I'm gonna take away 26. So we're gonna go down the number line. So I know I need to take away two tens. One, two. So then that would be 42, this would be 32. All right, now I need to take away six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. And some of you guys could have done a five and a, and a one. I'm just gonna simplify this for everybody else, but if you know how to subitize like that, do it. All right, so now we're gonna subtract by one. So this would be 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26. I got 26 here, 26 here, yay, got it. All right, when you're done with this page, finish this one up. This was probably the hardest one of the week. Um, you pick with strategy, helps you. Pick more than one strategy, make us all happy. And when you're done, take a picture of this and put it on your, uh, do or your yeah, class dojo or you can email it to us. Bye.